Hello friends, hope you are following us regularly. Today let's study about the general effects of disease, injury and immobilization. As you all know, these all things happen in our body in everyday life. So let's know a little bit about them. So as you know, there are total 200 checks bones in our body. Now you can imagine the number of joints they form in our body. So there are different arrangements of the bones. So as you all know about it. So any injury, any disease or any immobilization may cause disruption in the system by wear and tear process. So let's start with the disease first. So disease. Any disease you can take, maybe collagen disease or an autoimmune disease or an inflammatory disease, any type of disease which happen in a body that cause disruption in normal functioning of a joint structure. So every joint has a normal function and a structure. So when a disease happens, it affects the cartilage, it affects the synovial membrane of it and other soft tissue structures surrounding that joint. So that may be ligament, that may be muscles, that may be the tendon or any bursa if you take any example such as knee so most commonly affected joint in a body because of weight bearing in it right so let's take of example of uh, collagen disease where the synovial membrane affects immediately because of which normal dis uh, normal production of synovial fluid that disrupts and hence the functioning of the joint so as you know the synovial fluid it usually promotes the mobility and provides the cushion to the joint so hence the normal uh, cushioning and the mobility gets affected because of which the two bones they come closer to each other and more erosion of the joint happens because of this diseases if we take an example of osteoarthritis in a joint so anywhere it can happen in the joint so in this also the most commonly effect is the cartilage function so cartilage is unable to provide support to the joint hence causing more wear and tear of the joint and unable to hold the stress done on the joint so as you have read earlier in creep and stress strain curve also that the muscles or ligaments they tend to lose their elasticity they reach in plastic region and then ultimately they fail so because of these things we need to understand that how to make our joint structures more efficient and more strengthening so that we ca uh, we do not get affected by such things so next topic is injury injury whenever it happens it leads to instability of the joint because ultimately ligament is the one that is most commonly injured ho sakta hai uska tear ho jaye grade 3 tear ki complete tear ho jaye हो सकता है कि उसका पार्शियल टीयर हो जाए तो इमेजिन ए स्ट्रॉन्ग जॉइंट विद इंटैक्ट लिगामेंट्स एंड द मसल्स व्हिच कैन प्रोवाइड अ गुड स्टेबिलिटी टू यू वेदर यू स्टैंड यू सेट यू लाइ डाउन यू वॉक यू रन और यू प्ले एनी स्पोर्ट नाउ इमेजिन इमेजिन एन इंजर्ड जॉइंट वेयर योर लिगामेंट्स और एनी ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर्स दे गॉट डैमेज सो व्हाट विल हैपन द स्टेबिलिटी विल बी अफेक्टेड देयर विल बी डेविएशन फ्रॉम द normal alignment so because of which there will be distraction on the sides where the ligament is torn so the structure will be able to hold the body in weight bearing but with great difficulty so also sometimes changes in cartilage appear that can cause osteophyte formation so now let's see in the figure how the things change so as you can see in the figure i have shown two things one is the healthy joint where your cartilage your bones your ligaments they all are intact so this is an example of a knee joint so now imagine any injury injury happens by any force applied from an external source maybe over bending of the knee or maybe hyper extension of the knee yeah aap agar gir jao to uski wajah se ho jati hai chot so let's see the second figure where the joint disruptions happen due to the injury of ligament now here the direction of force comes from behind the knee causing tear of your medial collateral ligament now the stability structure of this joint medial collateral ligament is weak now it will be it will be giving you a wobble kind feeling whenever you walk you will feel that uh, there is a 
giving way that knee is not stable or you may fall easily on the ground when you walk or you run for a longer duration of time so this is how an injury causes changes in the body so we need to understand the in cause of injury so that we can treat the condition appropriately so there are number of events that happen in a body such as by disease or by the injury so eventually sometimes they lead to immobilization you must have heard that a person suffering from back pain first advice is take a bed rest so that is also a type of immobilization or a strapping of an injured joint or by the use of a brace or by the use of the traction method or to reduce the pain and inflammation sometimes we tape it so there are different methods of uh, immobilization so basically immobilization is a process hai of holding a bone or joint in place with a splint brace or cast you all must have seen in the cases of fractures in the cases of spinal stabilizations where people use different kind of braces sometimes it is rigid brace sometimes it is a functional brace which are helping in providing stability and mobility to the joint so let's understand what are the changes happen because of this immobilization because it is not one day or two day immobilization after an injury or any fracture or any surgery it is at least 3 weeks 4 weeks of immobilization to a person so there are number of changes that happen in structures so we have bone bone ko support karta hai cartilage ligament menisci tendons synovium bone akele kaam nahi karti so ultimately bone goes into osteoporosis that means weakening of the bone happens because all these changes happen in the structures also and since we do are not putting any load on the bone so these structures capabilities also reduce so first is the cartilage cartilage mein aapka chondrocyte activity glucosaminoglycans ye sab reduce ho jate hain jiski wajah se inki jo capacity hoti hai to bear load aur reduce ho jati hai कॉन्ड्रोसाइट सेल्स होते हैं जो कार्टिलेज में होते हैं हमारे एंड दे हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग द कार्टिलेज मैट्रिक्स सिमिलरली ग्लूकोज अमीन एक लुब्रिकेंट की तरह होता है जो कि शॉक एब्जॉर्बर की तरह काम करता है यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ आस्किंग डॉक्टर्स टू कंज्यूम ग्लूकोज अमीन इफ यू हैव एनी जॉइंट इशू दैट इज अथराइटिस सो इट हैज अनदर डोसेज ऑफ इट सो ऑलवेज कंसल्ट समबडी बिफोर टेकिंग इट next we talk about the ligament ligament since you all know it has role in supporting so the osteoclastic activity increases so now osteoclast activity increase because of the low levels of calcium in the body also sometimes vitamin d reduction and the osteoclast cells they activate more and they cause weakening of it also sometimes matrix components decrease similarly with the menisci menisci also help in supporting the joint in movement most importantly the knee joint you must have heard of medial menisci and the lateral menisci the component in these is the proteoglycans which it reduce which decrease proteoglycan is the major component of your extracellular matrix which acts as a filler substance between the cells it acts as a binder of water and provides spaces for absorbing high compressive loads so this is how the capacity of menisci also reduce then if i talk about the tendons tendons of course made by the muscle joining at one point so there are there is a myotendinous junction the atrophy happens because of decrease in size of collagen fibrils similarly the synovium present within the joint obviously all the structures are affected the major components are gone so because of increased proliferation of fiber fatty connective tissue they ultimately lead to formation of the adhesions now let's see in a video what we can do if immobilization of a particular joint happens okay so let's take an example of immobilization so this is a bandage on the my knee a form of immobilization So let's take an example of a fracture where the person is into plaster cast. Or let's take after the surgery example. Okay. So what you can do? Simple movements we can do is we can do to avoid the changes of immobilization in any other part of the body by just moving your ankle repeatedly. 
let's say 10 times, maybe every 2 to 3 hourly you can do this or by taking support by the side, moving your leg out and in, out and in so that your hip joint do not get stiff or most importantly other things you can do, keep a towel roll under your knee, keeping your knee uh, stable. Now, press the towel with your knee down until the pain free range. Hold there for 5 times and then relax so that your muscles do not undergo wasting or when you start rehabilitating your knee, you, your muscles are in a state to carry that load on your knee. And this helps in early re rehab of your knee. Let's study about overuse injury. By the name you can suggest that this is because of repetitive loading of any connective tissue. So such as ligaments. Ligament undergo constant tensile load. They will creep and finally lead to excessive lengthening of it and ultimately sometimes they fail. So this term identifies a large group of people such as athletes, dancers, musicians, farmers etc. They can affect your bursa, they can affect your tendon, your ligament or the bone. So the most common examples are tendonitis, bursitis, patellofemoral pain and other structures or injuries. So most famous example I have taken is a text neck syndrome because these days people are mostly busy on their mobiles. From morning 8 till night 10 o'clock they are working on the mobiles. So they can lead to neck pain because of the structures affecting the ligaments and the muscles so in the cartoon also i have tried to show that there is a deadline that everyone gets in a month and time so repetitive seated position also lead to back pains also lead to knee issues so in short i would say that do not do repetitive loading of any structure try to change your posture every 30 minutes so these are some of the exercises which we can do like back extensions, crossing the leg and standing, bending forward, bending your wrist, changing the postures, holding your hand behind your back. So these are some of the examples which can help you in uh, reducing this overuse injuries. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you have any questions, please put in the comment box. Do like, share and subscribe. And for further videos, check the link mentioned below. Take care. See you soon. Goodbye.